is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 21st of January, 2021. It was on this day, 1926, a 33-year-old novelist named Vida Sackville West wrote an impassioned love letter to the novelist Virginia Woolf, who was 10 years older. Vida had been married for more than a decade. She loved her husband. She was attracted to women as well, all of which was also true of Virginia Woolf. They'd met through the Bloomsbury Group, a group of people who gathered to talk about literature and art and philosophy, and they cautiously began a romance. But by 1926, when Vita wrote this letter, she was deeply smitten. She wrote from Italy, where she was riding a train 85 years ago today. She wrote, I am reduced to a thing that wants Virginia. I composed a beautiful letter to you in the sleepless nightmare hours of the night, and it has all gone. I just miss you in a quite simple, desperate, human way. You, with all your undumb letters, would never write so elementary a phrase as that. Perhaps you wouldn't even feel it, and yet I believe you'll be sensible of a little gap. But you'd clothe it in so exquisite a phrase that it would lose a little of its reality. Whereas with me, it is quite stark. I miss you even more than I could have believed, and I was prepared to miss you a good deal. So this letter is just really a squeal of pain. It is incredible how essential to me you have become. Oh, my dear, I can't be clever and standoffish with you. I love you too much for that, too truly. You have no idea how standoffish I can be with people I don't love. I have brought it to a fine art, but you have broken down my defenses, and I don't really resent it. It was shortly after that Virginia Woolf came up with an idea for a new novel inspired by Vida, who liked to dress up in men's clothes, and that novel was Orlando, a biography, 1928, about a transgender writer who lives for hundreds of years. They ended their affair in the late 20s, stayed friends until Virginia Woolf died in 1941. Here's a poem for today, a poem by Marcus Jackson entitled Winter Thanks. To the furnace, tall steel rectangle containing a flawless flame, to heat gliding through ducts, our babies asleep like bundled opal, praise every furry grain of every warm hour, praise each deflection of frost, Praise the fluent veins. Praise the repair person trudging in a Carhartt coat to dig for leaky lines. Praise the equator where snow is a stranger. Praise the eminent sun for letting us orbs buzz around it like younger brothers. Praise the shooter's pistol for silencing It's fire by reason of a chilly chamber. Praise our ancestors who shuddered through winters bunched on stark bunks. Praise the owed money becoming postponed by a lender who won't wait much longer in the icy wind. Praise the neon antifreeze in our Chevrolet radiator. And praise the kettle whistle imitating an important train delivering us these steam-brimmed sips of tea. A poem by Marcus Jackson, Winter Thanks, from Neighborhood Register, published by Cavan Carey Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.